5A is dealing with properties. You've done properties to the sixth grade. These are imaginary properties. So let's run right into them. Commutative. Commutative property is the change in the order of numbers that will not change the result. So when we're dealing with imaginary, it's like 5i plus 6i. That's the same thing as 6i plus 5i. Multiplication. You can do 3i times 6i, and the same thing as 6i times 3i. With dissociative, we have change in the grouping of numbers will not change the results. So if you have 6i plus 3i plus 2i, this is the same thing as if I shift the parentheses, keep the order the same. If I shift, shift the order or shift the parentheses, I can add 6i plus 3i first, and this is the exact same thing. These are equal, equal here. I uh, ran out of room, so that's my equal. Uh, with multiplication, it also works with multiplication. So 6i times 3i times 2i. This is the same thing as if I shift the parentheses to 6i times 3i, and then times it by 2i. So I'm just keeping the order the same, but the parentheses are moving, associated. Identity. Identity is 0 and 1 preserves identity under the addition of multiplication. Um, so we have an addition. We have 3i plus 0. Anytime you add 0 to something, it also works with imaginary, so it's 3i. And with multiplication, so 4i times by the way, i is a imaginary number. That's all you need to know right now. 4i times 1 is 4i. So anything times 1 is that same thing with imaginaries. Inverse. For each real number in a, there exists a unique number, negative a, and 1 over a for additive or multiplicative inverse. So for an additive inverse, if I have 7i, if you add a negative 7i, we get 0. So that's staying in negative a. And for multiplication, if I have, let's say, 7i, you can multiply by 1 over 7i, and you'll get 1. So these are inverses of each other. Right? Additive inverse and multiplicative inverse. Distributive works the same way as real number system. So if you have 3i and multiply them times 2 plus 4i, you can distribute this in to get 6i plus 12i squared. So distributive property. There is no, this is this multiplication. There's no, this actually should be all over here. Addition. So if a equals b, so like if, 4i equals 4i. If I add a number to 4i on the left side, like 6i, if you add it to the other side, that's addition. So by adding numbers, adding the same number to both sides, that's the addition property. And likewise, subtraction works the same way. So if I have 3i equals 3i, and then the next step I subtract 2i, Keep it equal, I subtract it on both sides. By subtracting here on both sides of the equation, that is subtraction. Multiplication, same thing. So if you have i equals i, if you multiply by the same number on the left side, you can also multiply by the same number on the right side. So multiply by 3 and multiply by 3. By multiplying by 3 on both sides, that's showing that it's Multiplication, you're keeping the equation equal. Division works the same way. So we have if a equals b, so let's pick 4i equals 4i. Then 4i divided by 2, you just got, you're dividing on both sides. So it works the same way with division. 
Flexus. Flexus. Favorite. Favorite property. It's so A equals A. So any number, even with imaginaries. So 110i, that's an imaginary number. What you can imagine equals 10i. So it reflects a favorite, my favorite property. Symmetric. If A equals B, then B equals A. So if 4i equals 3i plus 2, then, so here's your A, here's your B, so A equals B, then you should go the other way. It should be 3i plus 2, and that's going to equal 4i. So you can switch it around. Transitive property. That was the biggest property. If A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. So if, let's say, x equals 4i and 4i equals y, then x has to equal y. And substitution. Any place I use substitution it is when you are combining like terms. So if you have like 4i plus 3i plus 6 equals, let's say, 10i. And I combine these terms here, 4i plus 3i, I combine it and I substitute it for 7i. So that is substitution. If you're taking and subtracting 7i from both sides, and you do it to both sides of the equation, so the next step, that yeah, would actually be, um, or you subtract 10i either way, that would be subtraction. But in this case, because we only did on one side of the equation, we combine them there. That is substitution. Next. For 5b, this is simplifying negative radicals. So the first thing you need to know, what, is, what the heck is a negative radical? So like square root of negative 1. Um, in math, square root of negative 1 stands for i. This is an imaginary number. Um, you might say, why, 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 why do I need this? Well, everything around you, the reason why you can see right now the computer screen is because of imaginary numbers. So electricity is um, explained using imaginary numbers. So it's not a bad thing to have a good basis on the um, So anytime you see a square root of negative 1 in this for 5b, it's gonna, we're going to substitute in i for it. So first example, simplify square root of negative 16. So in negative 16, you have a negative 1. I'm going to break this up to negative 1 times 16. And we can break it up even further, negative 1 times the square root of 16. And you see here, we have negative 1, that's i. Square root of negative 1 is i. And square root of 16 is 4. So I'm going to switch them around using the commutative property multiplication, but this is going to be done for i. So square root of negative 16 is 4i. Example 2 is simplify the square root of negative 72. So here, we have the square root of 72 and the square root of negative 1. Break this up. Square root of negative 1, that's i. So then we have the square root of 72, and we did this earlier this year. So I'm going to use trees. Let's circle your prime numbers. 3 times 2, 3 times 2, and then it's a square root, so we're looking for pairs. So I have a pair of 3s and a pair of 2s. So this is going to be 3 times 2 is 6, i square root, and there's a 2 left over here, so 2. Okay, that's the end.
Uh, a couple of class and A questions. We're going to practice this more in class. Thank you.